Good morning, boys and girls. Now, if your mom is watching right now, you need to tell her to go out of the room because you want to have this as a surprise. So I'm going to give you a chance to tell her to go someplace else. Okay. What I want you to know is this Sunday, May 10th, is Mother's Day. Now, typically, if we were together during the school year, we would have made something for Mother's Day. But unfortunately, because we are not at school, this is something that you're going to have to do on your own. So um, you have to think, OK, what are some things that I can do to, to make uh, something for my mom for Mother's Day? Now, when you look here, there are a couple of crafts that you can make. Um, we have how to draw a rose so that you would need a piece of paper, the very first one, how to draw a rose. You can watch this YouTube video and it'll show you how to draw it and you would color it. And um, so you draw it with a pencil, you need a piece of paper and then you would color it. There's also how to draw a bouquet of flowers. So again, you would need a pencil and a piece of paper and some crayons or colored pencils or markers to color it. Um, there is something that also shows you step by step how to do kind of like a card that folds. So again, you can do that. You might have also your dad help you as well if on this part. Um, and then at the bottom also has where you can make a self a portrait of your mom. And then there can be words going around it for her. Now, there's lots of different craft ideas that you can do. If you don't have the materials that they say, you can use something else. For example, at the bottom here, it says if you don't have uh, scissors or glue, then you can just draw it instead of cutting it out and gluing it. Um, there are These are just examples of things that you could do. What I want you to know is your mom is going to love anything that you make for her. Now, if you don't want to make a craft, you can do something that that is thoughtful or helpful or special for your mom. What you might do is you might say, hey, for Mother's Day, I'm going to help you around the house or I'm going to clean something for you or um, I'm going to get along with, uh, try, say I'm going to try to get along with my brother and sister better. So you don't have to make them something, but you could do something special for them. You could also make a cute, your own little coupon book where you say different things that you might do that you'll clean your room or you'll um, make her breakfast in bed or you'll fold the laundry or something like that. At the bottom, here's some crafts that you might also want to do. You could make an I love you card. It shows you how to do it. You trace your hand and you're going to fold down um, the two fingers that it has here because that is sign language for I love you when you do it like that. OK, um, you could also make this bouquet with colored paper. If you don't have colored paper, you can cut out with your uh, plain paper and color it. You could do it whatever way you wanted there. You could also do this one, which is another craft activity where you could uh, notice how they spell mom. They made a sun in the middle. Um, so there's lots of ideas. Now, remember, whatever you make for your mom, she is going to love it. And so you can just think of what is it something that you could do for your mom? All right. So again, make sure you wish your mom a happy Mother's Day on Sunday. Uh, I know she will love whatever you do to help her celebrate that special day.